Okay, in this video, I will try to receive an MQTT message from my cell phone, and then I'm gonna listen to it here in Node Red, uh, display what I get, then I'm gonna try to parse it by CSV values, and then I'm gonna try to uh, save that on a CSV sheet in my, um, on my Linux device, in this case, it's my Pi, and I'll also do the debug to see what comes out of this CSV parser. Let's start here. It's an MQTT um, receive node. I've set it up for the Hive MQ uh, channel, and I'm creating a new topic called scuttle slash pi slash CMD for command. And I'm going to pretend that my cell phone is going to send commands wirelessly, and my robot is going to receive the commands. Now in the CSV node, um, the column names must be entered. So uh, this is how it starts, uh, just asking you to put comma separated column names. So I entered field A, field B, and then separator is comma. This is for the actual string that you're gonna receive in the MQTT message. Uh, this could be a tab, but comma works better because on my cell phone, don't know how to add a tab. Now. Um, the other options mostly are default, uh, skip zero lines. First row uh, is not going to contain column names because I want to send a simple message on the cell phone. And parse numerical values, that was default checked and it worked fine for me, so I left it. The new line um, is uh, Linux. So I'm assuming I can type this new line into my MQTT message. Haven't tested it yet. I'm trying starting simple. Okay, then uh, what is this? I'm gonna create a file or write to a file. It's gonna create the directory and I assume the file if it doesn't exist and add a new line to each payload. Um, sh could, should try both ways on this one. And I'm gonna overwrite the file. So yeah, I probably won't see the effects of this. Then the encoding uh, default probably will work. I just successfully used UTF-8, but let's try default. Done. Now um, I'll deploy. Okay, first I'm over here. I'm connecting to my Raspberry Pi or BeagleBone. And I will go to, let's see where I am. I want to enter the CD Pi Scuttle folder. And then I want to um, I have data3.csv. I want to delete it to make sure that it's created new. So rm data3.csv ls. All right, so that's gone. Now let's go to the cell phone. Okay, my application is MQT tool. It's very simple. I enter the host, the port is default, the client ID is default. And um, you start like this, you click connect. And then it says connected. I click done on the to get rid of the keyboard. Go to publish. And now I'm going to be sending a message from my cell phone. So my topic is scuttle slash pi slash cmd here. And um, I'm going to do a new message uh, where the first value is 2.5. And I'll do a comma and then a space and 2.6. Uh, it worked with a space. Let's try without a space. 2.6. So this should be two values. And done. And publish. Publish succeeded. Now let's uh, go to subscribe to see. Yep, right here. Um, no. I don't have it yet. Subscribe. Let's publish again just to make sure. Publish succeeded, subscribe, got it. 2.5, 2.6. Now let's go back to the computer. Okay, here we are. I'm going to ls again, and boom. Now we have data3.csv, and I'm gonna do cat data3.csv, and this is what I get. Um, it's a string that's actually formatted. M maybe that's JSON. Going to learn that next. Um, indicating field A and field B with the corresponding 2.5 and 
Um, just a reminder that where those field names came from was right here. We named them field A and field B. On the last part, I just want to show that my debug2 has indicated it received this exact string, 2.5 comma 2.6, and my debug3, which is after the CSV parser, is um, has the same information, but it's conditioned as we expected. And since I sent it twice, they came in twice. That's all.